Yeah, what up? This is Billy Niz with the Square Off TV, Fight, Street, and Hip Hop Media. How's everybody doing? And I missed you guys too. Thank you. Um, I've been going through my own shit right now. That's why I haven't been making many videos. And uh, I have a feeling um, my views are being fucked with for some odd reason. Um, YouTube said there was a problem with, um, I forget the exact words, but people were receiving little to no, um, views for their page, and it's still going on with me, so YouTube, please, uh, I'm, I went from making 10,000 views a month to practically dog shit. Please help Billy Niz. A.K.A. Billy motherfucking Bats. Homie. Anyways. Um, Francis Ngannou. Showed. Went through some adversity. Against Cyril Gan. His wrestling. Like he's just so much more dangerous now. Um, with wrestling defense and knowing how to wrestle, like, he is very fucking dangerous. Um, and I, Charles Oliveira is gonna reign the lightweight 155 pound champion for a little while, um, I think he's going to beat Gaethje. I just, as soon as I heard this fight, I love Justin Gaethje. He's one of my favorite fighters. He got balls the size of fucking Southie. Um, but I just, I see a different, I, I just see a different look in Charles Oliveira's eyes. Uh, I just, he, the, he, people don't give him a lot of credit for his striking. We already know his BJJ is the most elite level you can get to. Um, but people should know the way the Michael Chandler fight went, his first title defense. Charles' first title defense. Uh, people should know that his striking is very fucking dangerous now. He ain't just a submission artist. He's a knockout artist now, too. And he... Sh and like, he, he has the most murderous row of opponents in front of him I have ever seen anybody go through in the UFC. And that is a fucking fact. I would love for that big shot fucking yuppie motherfucker to um to um debate me on that, but and like I was actually thinking about Kamaru Usman too. Like mostly all all of his def title defenses have been against people he's already beat. So that for me right there makes him overrated. I, I think he's an animal, but like, fight some, what a, fight Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy Thompson's the only guy who hasn't gotten a shot at this man. Or give it to Hosma, Ch Chimaev. Or have Chimaev Fight Wonder Boy for the number one contender spot. Like, how long are we going to keep going through this fucking Kobe Covington game bread Usman triangle? Like, I'm surprised no one has even brought this up, Mr. Big Shot. Fucking blocking me from your fucking lives, you pussy. Anyways, um, after stealing my shit. When you said you had nothing to absolutely talk about, whatever, shove it up your ass. Um, 
Yeah, like this guy thinks he's getting a job. Like he's pretty much sucking Dana White's dick without uh, sucking it, pretty much. Like the I, I can't see the UFC fucking hiring you. Like you have no fight experience, bro. Just because you watch UFC don't make you a fucking fighter. Or your partners with fucking fighters, whatever the fuck you do. Like, you're a computer nerd who likes fighting. That's all you are. And a Freemason at that. I'm just saying. I'm keeping it a buck. Like, I just... I like you so much better on everything. Anyways, that was a fucking bitch move on your part. I asked you... One question twice, then you block me from your live. You're a fucking pussy for that. I would love to fucking box you three rounds on a Jake Paul card or something. You got fucking, um... I don't like your fucking attitude, to be honest with you. You think you're a fucking tough guy. I will call your bluff. I guarantee you, you would never fight me. Fire. On fire. After you said you had absolutely nothing to talk about. You talk about the five video, the five videos I've made. That the day before. And you totally fucking shit on the subject that I was talking about. Of course, like a fucking punk would. Now you think you're a fucking hot shot because you're on a fucking fighters podcast. Like, dude, you're the biggest dick sucker. Get off their nuts, bro. Get off of the. Stop stalking men, other men, and get their Johnson out of your ass. Dude, I would love to fucking fight you. I really would. Like, you think bringing on pussies? Really? You you didn't mean that. Because if you fucking, you would be waiting somewhere saying, bring it on, pussies. Who got a fucking problem with me? Come and say it in my face. Because I would fucking take a flight to see you, motherfucker. You're such a fucking clown. I swear to God. But I like your conspiracy channel. You're a straight fucking bitch, so... Like, stalking other men. Act like... Oh, well, I went to the fights, and um, I sat in uh, near the uh, cage. Yeah, I have too, in Boston. I watched Stipe beat Francis from pillow to post. Next to Jimmy Gifford and Peter Welch and them. What the fuck you talking about, bro? And these are Dana White's boys. I got personal contact with these people. You're Freemason ass. Like you, you think because you you think you're tough because you your business partners are fucking Navy sales and you talk fighting. You, you ain't tough. The, you've never had a street fight in your life. I can tell. You just you're just a slick businessman. Who can talk a little bit. And like, dude, get get the salty guy's dick out of your ass, bro. And you, you said you started watching UFC. Uh, what was it? Rich Franklin or something? Fighting uh, somebody? I've been watching UFC since... The very first one where you can fucking punch someone in the balls and shit. Me, my Uncle Laurie, who slapped the shit out of Kevin Weeks, who was Whitey Bulge's right-hand man. True story. What I speak is facts on my channel, bro. Slapped the dog shit out of him. In front, in front of... James Whitey Bulger. That's the type of family I come from. But you like to fucking block your fucking ops like a little bitch. 
You're the type of dude to start some shit and call the cops after like a punk bitch. The next time YouTubers have a fucking fight card, I want to fight you. And you know who I'm talking about. That's why you blocked me like a pussy. You're a straight bitch. On fire. You fucking think you know everything. All you do, you talk the business, you make a little sense, yeah, but like, you ain't a fighter. You don't know what the fuck these guys go through. What, because you do jujitsu with your daughters? Get the fuck out of here. I've actually stepped in the ring when Frank Mann's striking coach, Misha Tate's striking coach, was right there. So I've. I've fought in front of UFC personnel before they became UFC personnel. So you can suck my dick on that note on fire. But uh, I'm in real, I'm in rare form tonight. So expect to see me for a long time tonight. Billy Niz is back. I'm getting these motherfucking views back. Get me to a thousand subs, my lives. I'm gonna be kicking ass. Shout out to my boy from New Jersey that hit me up um, last week. Awesome dude. Awesome dude. He was in Boston. He was actually in Southie. Something on fire would never do. So shout out. To, um, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I forget your name right now. Um, it, my man from Jersey. His last name begins with an S. But you know who I'm talking about. Joe. Is it Joe? But I'll look up the name. I'll put the name in the description. Shout out to you, buddy. And shout out to Jersey. And, he, and uh, shout out to Kaz, the Dawn shit talk show from uh, Brick City. What up, Kaz? What up? But On Fire is a straight bitch. But thank you, buddy, for contacting me. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yes, your questions are funny. <laughs> Dude, you really made my week, buddy. You really did. Um, but you're showing up to Southie on St. Patrick's Day weekend. And uh, I know you got a girlfriend and everything, but I can probably find an Irish or a rat for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you. Um, shout out to your girlfriend. You... You got a very beautiful girlfriend. She seems very nice. You are a very nice person. You got balls, buddy. Showing up to um, Boston. He already said, we got a Jersey kid. Another one confirmed said Boston's more lit than New York City. Shout out to my subscriber and now new friend from New Jersey. Who I told we talked for like Hey, on fire. How many times have, uh, have you talked to a, a random subscriber for an hour and a half, almost two hours? Never. I would never big league anybody. I would never big league anybody. I'm uh, who don't take consideration in uh Putting good lighting behind people who can't afford it, bitch. Hood people. I love your the everything channel, but you're you're a fucking straight bitch on uh, the fire channel. And I don't give a fuck who don't like it, who subscribed to you. All fifty fucking thousand of them can suck my fucking hairy beanbag. How about that? Bitch-ass motherfuckers. Bunch of dick-riding bitches. Your fucking followers are. Uh. But shout out to your Navy SEAL buddies. I appreciate their service. But you, motherfucker. I got a bone to pick with you. I don't like you the least bit. Fucking. Who, who goes. You like stalk other men. Like on your free time. Like. Anyways, I like.
I I love the um, Everything Channel. You're a very good person on that one, but the fire one, I want to slap the dog shit out of you. You want to box me. You want to fight me in any way. And I bet you I can beat you in uh, jujitsu with zero training. Yeah. Judge this book by its cover. I got a witness here right now. Excuse me. Miss, what has happened in the four, in the five years we've been together when people judge this book by its cover? They get fucked up. What happened? They get fucked up. Who told you to say that? Nobody. It's me. What have you witnessed? A lot of bad shit. Crazy shit. You fucking people out. I, I, use, I really don't get to that much. Because what do they do? Rat. Or, which begins with an R. Run. Yeah. Really fast. <laughs> they yeah. run. I had to give her a little hint. <laughs> but it's literally happened. I can look into your eyes and know you ain't about that life. You will not fight me in front of a crowd. I don't see it. You ain't about that life. And don't try to get your Navy SEAL buddies or Freemason buddies to come at me because I got no problem. Don't, don't be a fucking straight nerd. I know your friends were cool, tough people, allegedly. But, like, get off Dana's nuts. Serious. You're on his balls. I think you're in love with him. I think you would suck his dick to get a job at the UFC. You're on Biggs. You're on Michael Bisping's show for some fucking weird reason. Like, Bisping, this dude ain't even a fighter. How can someone with no fight experience talk about fighting? Seriously, Michael. I'm asking you. I'm not being a wise ass. I know this might be a little internet buddy now, but like, come on, seriously. You can't take this dude seriously. He's, he's never even stepped in a boxing ring before. And he won't even let me comment in his fucking lives. And I was a loyal subscriber. Loved his show. But he fucking big. He stole content off me like eight times. And that's a fact. I got receipts. And... I didn't say nothing to him about it. I asked him, what happens with the winner of Masra Gamebred and Colby? Do you think the winner will get Connor? Next, he fucking blocked me for asking it twice because he's a pussy. And that's what bitches do. He like, he's the type of dude to throw a rock or a marble and hide his fucking hand like a bitch. I ain't done what you threw a long shot. I want to box you three ma three rounds, two minutes each or three minutes each. Cause we got we we got beef, bro. And I know you're acting like a big dog. You don't notice me. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. You recognize me as a threat. Because once I'm on, I'm on. I got people contacting me from New Jersey, motherfucking Ohio. I, I talk about gangster shit that I really know about and my family's been in. Yes. You were ball-sucking Sam Gavano on his ball sack hanging off like... You just love hanging off the balls of uh, celebrities. Because you've had two. Um, how I know you're a Freemason. 
your friends with famous people, somebodies, because you're smart with computers, but you're, you're no tough guy, bro. Stop acting like it. Bring it, pussies. Bring it, pussies. You would never say that to me. You wouldn't even let me speak at, on your live. So you're the fucking pussy. Pussy. And all those people you were talking shit to, you know what? Let me stick up for them. Pussy. Say that shit to me. On fire. I will throw water on that fire real quick. And that's all it would take to beat your bitch ass. You fucking ball suck. Go stalk. You're a closet. You're, you're a closet uh, mo. And no disrespect. I I have plenty of gay friends. I really do. So don't even fucking go there with me, bitch. I got one of the best... Brock Lesnar and Conor McGregor go to the gym around the corner of my house. Or went to the gym for the sh uh, their punching. Their boxing. So. Not for nothing. I'm going to get a hold of some people that can get a hold of Dana. And I'm going to make sure... I'm going to make sure. What makes you qualified to get a job at the UFC? What? Computer skills? I can do Excel. Because you sure d damn didn't never fought before. And I don't want to hear that pussy ass sparring shit either. You've never, I doubt you fucking, you probably had a very light spa. Like, and probably got hit hard and quit. But, you, dude, you ain't no fucking... Dude, you want, you don't train like that. You're not a fighter. Because you would have responded to that video I sent, I, well, that was towards you like this one. So, you don't fucking fool people like you're a fighter just to get a job at the UFC. Because it ain't happening. And I'm gonna fucking make sure it don't. I'm getting I'm getting a hold of the right people, letting them know who the fuck you really are, bitch. Fuck Jesse on fire. I like Jesse on everything a lot better though. But all these hints in, like you're just infatuated with, with these men. I love them too for their for their uh, skill set. I love their fighting styles, but I think it's more deeper with you. I think you're attracted to them. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. I can't believe you blocked me like a pussy. Like, and I didn't even I didn't even bring the smoke to you like this yet. I'm like, this dude's a piece of shit. And everybody I showed it to, you ex your exact words were, there is exactly nothing going on in the UFC. I have nothing to talk about. I made five videos right after that of what was going on. And all of a sudden, you had something to talk about right after my the last video I posted, you fucking... Yeah, my channel's smaller. Yeah, yeah. I know way more fucking important people than you, pal. Actually, probably not, because you probably gave up your ass and you're a Freemason. And yeah, I got I, yeah. All right, but you didn't mean that when you said "bring it, pussies." That was so fucking corny. Bring it, pussies. What's Talk shit over the internet. But the difference between me and you is... I'm willing to meet up with you. And go a few rounds. Which you're not. 
So don't fuck with, don't steal. You thought no one would notice. Because I'm a small channel. And I got some, I got a lot of shit going on in my life right now. A lot of shit, serious shit. Like, make a break life type of shit going on right now. And I'm, like, I'm getting it from the motherfucking mud. I'm getting it from the gutter. None of my subscribers are going to be robots. When I go, when I'm able to go live finally, it's going to be real people sending real fucking money to the Cash App and Super Chat. You talk about one thing. I talk about UFC, boxing, and Irish mob. Southy Irish mob and other things. I I just love how you think you're so fucking important when you're not. You're trying to get Dana White's attention so fucking bad. You're giving other how you got Michael Bisbing's fucking um attention, complimenting another man on his hair. You're very suspect. You probably got a bunch of fucking bots too. Because I guarantee, like, your channel grew so fucking fast. Like, you're not that interesting. You're not that good. You're faking the funk. You're not a fighter. You've never fought any real people. I'm from the streets of South Boston, Massachusetts. Southy motherfucker. Southy swagger. Yeah. We don't I don't pronounce my eyes. I'm not a fucking computer geek like you, and I don't fucking think other men are attractive like you. I'm getting it from the mud. And once I'm able to go live, I'm taking over. Because you don't have a personality like mine. You can say you know people fucking so well. Yeah, yeah. You judged the wrong book by its cover, motherfucker. And I'm putting... I'm the fire extinguisher to J, to, uh, J on fire. So, send him this. Hey, on fire. Whoop, there it is, bitch.